Hi guys, so if you want to learn how to create this really easy GIF on Sketchbook, then keep on watching this video. Okay guys, so here what I'm doing is I already created everything that I wanted to create. I just wanted to skip that part. So I created this first frame. Now I am actually duplicating each and every layer separately. And once I'm done with that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to merge all the layers together for the first frame. Here we're just moving the hand and also the tail. So that should be separate when you are duplicating the layers. And I just have all the layers separate already just because I wasn't really um, decisive at that time and wasn't really able to decide what part I want to move. So here I, as you guys just saw, I moved her hand. I used uh, the selection tool to select that area, just the hand from the layer. And then I actually moved it um, in this downward direction. I also want to move the tail. So for that, what I did, I decreased the opacity of the first frame so that we can see what we are doing and how much we want to move the tail. And I erased the tail from the second frame, potential second frame, and I drew it again just to make sure it is in a different position as compared to the first frame, if that makes any sense. So that's what I did here. It's really simple, you guys. Just make sure whatever um, thing you want to move, you're keeping it separate. Now, once you're happy with that, you're going to want to duplicate all the layers once again, like the hands, the eyes, the background, the cat. And once you have duplicated it, just merge everything down for the second frame. Now we are on to the third frame. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to move on to the hand and the tail layer. And then we're with the selection tool. I selected the hand and I just moved it downward a little bit more. And for the tail, once again, I decreased the opacity of second frame this time around. And now back to the frame third. Here I am drawing the tail in a way where I'm actually changing the position of it so that when we actually create the GIF, it looks as if the tail is moving. It's really easy. I wanted to show you guys the easiest GIF first, how to create the easy, more easy GIFs on Autodesk Sketchbook. Then what I want to do is once you actually understand the basics of animation, I would actually move on to desktop version of Autodesk Sketchbook if it exists right now. And because it has something called flip a book where you can actually animate stuff. I already have a video on it. I will link it down in the description if you want to check out. So again, before merging everything together for third frame, you want to duplicate every layer, the background, the cat, the hand and the tail and the eyes. And after duplicating it, you can merge all the layers for the third frame. Now back and back for the fourth frame, I changed the position for the hand and I also changed the position for the tail as well. And for this easy GIF, you don't really need a lot of frames or a lot of layers because it's just a very simple movement of tail and hand. You just need four frames where the hand is coming down to touch the keyboard. And you can move tail however way you want it to move. But for the hand, the hand is just moving from upward direction to the downward direction and that is it. So for that, you only need four to five layers max and you don't need anything else apart from that. So I went ahead and increased each and every opacity for every layer and I started exporting every layer one by one. So you want to export every layer one by one, hide everything, every layer above. Let's just say I'm exporting layer number one. I'm going to hide all three layers above it and then I'm going to export it as a flattened PNG and save it on my device. Once you have exported all the layers separately, you want to go to Google and type JPEG to GIF. And once you type that, just hit search and this website called Easy GIF will pop up. You want to open this website up. Now you want to upload all the layers right here, all the flattened PNGs right here. Once you are done, once you have done that, hit upload and it will upload it on the website. It might take a little while, especially if you have 
a lot of layers. It might take it time to just upload all the layers, but be patient and do not just do not mess with the website. Okay, just it will upload your stuff. Now, once you have the layers right here, you wanna because it won't organize in the order you want them to be. So here I'm actually organizing them in the order I wanted want them to be. If that makes any sense and the next thing is once you have like organized them the next thing you want to do is you want to just hit make gif because you don't want to do any settings specifically because for this gif it needs to be fast so um, the delay time I'm gonna decrease the delay time to 15 or 16 because I want to speed up my gif a little bit I wanted to I want the cat to hit the laptop a little faster than it already is doing. So I went back to either 15 or 16. I don't remember, I think it's 16. I cannot even see it on the screen. But as you guys can see, it just sped up my GIF a lot more than before and it looks really cute. So basically the thing is delay time with, the thing with delay time is the larger the number, the slower the GIF is going to be, the smaller the number, the fast the GIF is going to be. So keeping that in mind based on what you like and what you don't like you can actually play around with the number number and then just hit make a gif until you are satisfied with it once you're really satisfied with the gif and you think it's just good to go just long press onto the gif because we're gonna save it on our device and it's looking good i was really satisfied with what came up um, on this website so to save it you just have to long press like this and after long pressing you just have to hit save to photos and it will actually save the gif onto your device and that's how you create this really really simple gif really cute cat gif on Autodesk sketchbook so if you want me to actually dive in into more complex ones slowly so that you guys can also learn stuff about animation then i'm happy to do so i might come up with a video next time around on flipbook or autodesk sketchbook on the desk desktop app until then you can check out all the other animation videos i already have for sketchbook and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video